Uh, right. So I have already start discussed about the postulates for valence theory or uh, sorry, val uh, Vesper theory that is valential electron pair repulsion theory. I have also asked you to learn the structures of linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal, bipyramidal, octahedral. If you learn these five or six, it's easy for you whichever example is given. So let us go with the second set. So what is the difference between the earlier table and this one? In the earlier table, I have given you examples for the molecules having no lone pairs. There were no lone pairs around them. It is only the basic central atom and the uh, surrounding ligands around that, the surrounding atoms rather. Okay. So now I am giving you examples for the atom or the molecules having lone pairs. Right? Those were without lone pairs. These are with lone pairs and bond pairs. Right? Let us see. Now there is now uh, this is the basic standard uh, formula so let us see how to use this particular data these you have already memorized these right one two three four five you already have that in your mind now let us see now here a is the central atom b is the surrounding atom and l stands for the lone pair of electrons right so when i speak about lone pair of electrons here now see as soon as this molecule is given to you okay now this is given to you how to write this now come here just count this is two plus one three right two three four okay total are four again two three four but there is one lone pair here so what is the structure which has this four atoms let us see four how many uh, there are total total should be four now this is how many three isn't it now this is how many one two three four four so this structure resembles this can i take this let me see one two three four five no this is not the structure a b 2 l is this structure because total number of four now let me write this in this form okay <laughs> trigonal planar form so how is this looking i have to also show lone pair of electrons right exactly the same shape yes, so i'll use this pen exactly the same shape this is a done now how many b2s write this b b and b done so there is one more bond i have to show that is your lone pair draw one line like this show this lone pair this is your structure right so this is your ab2 l structure with one lone pair so how many lone pairs and how many bond pairs bond pairs are two lp is one done let us come back and draw now you have a b2 l now count two three four fine so which is that structure here two three four here also two three four both are same right so let us not take this let us come back to this two three four five total of five bond pairs are also there lone pairs also the total five i have to search now this is how many one two three four no let us come back one two three four five yes this structure was trigonal planar structure this structure is tetrahedral structure now how did i know this i have counted the bond pairs and lone pairs fine now let us write now write a in the center fine this is done <laughs> now you have two bond pairs start from here this is bond pair this is also bond pair draw one bond pair b draw one bond pair okay this and this how many are left out this and this this is your lone pair now this also is your lone pair yes have you seen so this is your tetrahedral structure let us write bps are how many one and two how many lps are there two simple let us write this now count as soon as the example is given just count four five six okay six is this six no this is three is this six no this is oh, four is this six no this is five let us count whether there's six one two three four five six yes so i have to make a structure with one lone pair with six atoms so this is the thing so take that draw a yes done now how many lone pairs should i show only one right so just take this as a lone pair remaining all you can show as b this is b one more b one more atom this also is an atom pick up lone pair yes so remember these are these bonds whatever are there along this are called axial bonds i'm writing something here this and this are called axial bonds axial bonds are always longer 
1 this is e this is e this is e these are called equatorial bonds equatorial bonds which are shorter okay yes there are more repulsive forces on the axial bonds than equatorial bonds remember because they are along the axis equatorial bonds are spaced you know they are open and they are spaced so they are le repul less repulsive forces less so in this particular example how many bond pairs and how many lone pairs bond pairs are 1 2 3 4 bp are 4 how many lone pairs l is 1 so this example <clears throat> let me count 3 4 5 6 which is our example with 6 which you have already studied this one let us see if it is correct mm, 1 6 plus 7 okay let me come back and see how many does this have 3 on this side 3 6 so you will be writing an example with this let me count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 Again, you will draw the structure with this. So, what did I do? After writing, you write number of lone pairs in both. Now, I have given you a list of examples here. Just count. Just see how many are there. Now, suppose if I take this example, XCF2. How many are there? 2 plus 1, 3. Linear structure. Let me come back and see. 3 plus 1, 4. Which is that 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the structure. SF6, 6 plus 1, 7. Which is that structure? The structure. Octahedral. Water molecule, 2 plus 1, 3. The structure. But you will get in a bent form. Ammonia, 3 plus 1, 4. So, what is the use? Learn this basic thing. Then start applying whichever example is given to you. So, for that, try to practice all these examples. So, once you learn all these, whichever example your teacher gives you, you can directly write in that structure. This is your Vesper theory.